Another sign today that Muammar Gaddafi's rule in Libya is over. His wife and two sons have now fled over the border to Algeria. Gaddafi is still on the run. Today, we saw disturbing pictures of atrocities from the revolution and evidence of the lifestyle the Gaddafis enjoyed while so many people suffered. Barry Peterson is investigating the remnants of the regime. In the last days of fighting with defeat looming, Gaddafi's soldiers turned their guns on more than 50 civilian prisoners held in a building. Soldiers threw in grenades, then set the building on fire. There were a lot of dead and a lot of wounded, says this witness. And even the wounded, they executed in the end. But atrocities are shared by both sides. Rebels killed, surrendered soldiers. It is part of the cruelty of this war. But Libyans have lived with another kind of cruelty most of their lives, struggling in an oil-rich country where a middle-class family survives on $330 a month and roughly one-third live at or below the poverty line. While Gaddafi and his family lacked for nothing, some of their fancy houses are now in rebel hands with their jet skis and hot tubs and lavish surroundings. This home belonged to one of his sons, a seaside retreat complete with a baby grand piano. Other houses stretch down the coast. The use of alcohol is forbidden in the Muslim religion, but when the rebels came across this place, they found the bar was fully stocked with expensive liquor. But nothing says lifestyles of the rich and infamous. Oh my, very pretty, very private, and like a $150 million private jet. Your own bed. From here, the family's private pilots would fly them anywhere in the world. And traveling by private jet was just the beginning of the millions the Gaddafi family would spend. One son, according to a British newspaper, went through $2 million a month on trips to Paris or London, including $7,000 haircuts. This is a piece of China from one of the houses that the rebels now control, trimmed in 24 karat gold, a Rembrandt, a re remnant rather, of the Gaddafi family's gilded age. Scott? Thank you, Barry.